He told me that he wanted to hurt himself, that he didn't know what was going on. Judy Ann Donovan stands next to a missing person poster for her son, Daniel, and recounts a conversation she had with him on January 21st. She says he had been off his medication. She and her husband were out of town, but arranged for their son to get to Beverly Hospital for psychiatric treatment. Next thing I know, talking with the nurses, he tested positive for COVID. Judy Ann says her son stayed in the hospital in isolation for four days. Then on January 26th, she couldn't reach him directly, so she called the hospital. Finally, they're looking it up and they said he's been discharged. At two o'clock that afternoon, I was livid. I was out of my mind as any parent would be. To my knowledge, he left there without any medication with any really follow up. Daniel Donovan was last observed January 26th by security cameras near the power plant just outside the hospital, according to his mother. His cell phone was dead. Then two days ago, Daniel's body was found in the woods near Woodland Avenue here in Beverly, a distance of about two miles from the hospital. Judy Ann feels her son somehow slipped through the cracks. It's Valentine's Day. You know, hold your loved ones, love your loved ones, because I can't do that today. My husband and I are just getting through just one day at a time. Beverly Hospital says it cooperated with law enforcement during the search and extends its condolences to the family. The DA's office says foul play is not suspected in this case, but an autopsy was scheduled for today because this was an unattended death. The results of the autopsy have not been released. Reporting live in Beverly, Todd Keskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5.